Hello again! So after many, many, many weeks of waiting, I finally got hold of my new speakers, my pair of Harbeth P3 ESR XDs, stand mount speakers. And um, I auditioned these back in October last year. And I was very, very taken with them. And uh, the reason it's taken so long is mainly because I've had to sell a bit of equipment to fund the purchase of them. And it took a little while to sell those items. That's, that's basically the reason. So I'm extremely pleased with these. And they are in a lovely cherry finish, which is really lovely, beautiful. And... Um, they're quite small, actually. They're quite a bit smaller than the uh, KF, the, the KEF um, IQ3s that I was using. I mean, they're they're considerably bigger, um, but uh, they need a little bit of breaking in. So I've been playing um, a bit of Bob Marley to do that to help, and uh, I just thought I'd really just talk about them because this is quite a small room, and. The stand mounts I had, sorry, the, the floor standers I had in here before, I felt weren't really quite right for the room. And um, although these are on paper, they, they, they look quite inefficient. I think the, the, the figures say they're 83 dB uh, for 2.83 volts at one meter, which on paper sounds quite insensitive. Um, but they're very, it's a very easy load. They're six ohm. It's a six ohm load and they recommend amplification of at least 15 watts. Now I'm, I'm using uh, an Audio Innovations S500 integrated amp, which I think is 25 watts valve amp, uh, uses EL34 valves. And um, yeah, so not a hugely powerful amp, um, but it's driving these beautifully. And I think the reason is uh, because I have a very near field listening position, as you can see. So I'm only about four feet away from the speakers. Um, and the room is only about three meters square, if that. I'd say it's about, yeah, I'd, I'd say maximum three meters square. So the fact that it's a very near, uh, a very near listening position, I think allows uh, a relatively no power powered amplifier to drive these uh, in this room. I think if this room was any bigger, then we'd be struggling. But um, so far, so good. Uh, sounding very nice. Uh, the, the bass, although doesn't, although not as uh, deep and fruity as the Kefs, certainly is tighter and more tuneful. I mean, you can hear what's going on perhaps a little bit better than I could with the Kefs. The Kefs had a slightly weightier sound, but um, but they weren't as uh, they didn't image as well and um, uh, weren't perhaps as I'm not sure as transparent is the right word, but uh, the instruments in the mix um, seem to be more clearly defined with the Harbeths. So yeah, so it's early days. I've only had them since um, Friday, uh, so not even a week, and um, very much enjoying listening to them. So. I shall report back uh, once they've once they've uh, once I've broken them in. <laughs> Probably take a good few weeks. Um, in case you're wondering, they're they're actually on. These are Kef stands. Now these are not the stands I'm going to keep. They're just kind of temporary stands. But these are on um, Townsend uh, isolation platforms. And if you if you watch, they're actually they allow the speakers to wobble because these are on springs and. Uh, if you have a sprung floor, as I do, uh, and you're running a turntable, um, apart from putting the turntable on a wall shelf, uh, these are fantastic. They, they really have done wonders for the sound. And just to give you an idea how much they wobble, look, really wobbly. Uh, so it's kind of the complete opposite of the spike the speaker straight to the floor uh, theory. Um, this one is more decoupling it from the floor, isolating it from the floor. Um, uh, well, it works. It works for me. So yeah, so it's just a short video, really. Just talk about my new speakers. I'm very excited to uh, to have them at last after all this time. Um, yeah, so I've been listening to a bit of Bob Marley to help break them in. 
some recent uh, purchases. Um, picked up uh, a couple of Art Pepper uh, albums um, on the contemporary record label. These are uh, these have been released by Kraft, I think, in association with Acoustic Sounds. Um, and uh, yeah, very much enjoying these. Actually, really good. Uh, these were recommended. I think this one actually was recommended by. Um, uh, I think it might have been Marky Mark Vinyl Nut actually, but um, I've had my eye on these for a while and finally got round to, to, to buying them. So just getting into those. Uh, also the other day bought Burning uh, by John Lee Hooker, which has, uh, if you're a, if if you've if you've watched the Blues Brothers, you'll know Boom Boom, and that's on this album. And uh, another recommendation from Marky Mark was uh, Stanley Turrentine's Mr. Natural, a tone poet that's just been released. Really good, actually. Really, really good uh, listen. That is very easy to get into. Um, and Nightlights, I just want to have a brief word about this. Um, I picked this up a few weeks ago. Fabulous recording uh, and really lovely reissue. And it's not particularly expensive. I think it was about 25 quid, this one. But uh, Jerry Mulligan's Nightlights, this is on uh, a label reissue label called New Land. I think it's a Verve, originally it was a Verve uh, release, but New Land have done this um, this release, what is it, mastered from the original analogue uh, tape, Transfers, by Kevin Gray at Coherent Audio. Ah, right, okay, I didn't actually, I had not actually read that. But um, if you haven't picked this up, it's a, it's a, it's a really lovely listen. I mean, it's, it's a lovely late night listen, really is fantastic. And it's my first Jerry Mulligan album. So I'm extremely pleased with that. And uh, behind the plant here, I shall move it, is uh, Oscar Peterson's Motions and Emotions, which um, uh, I, had, I had heard of, um, and I picked that up a few weeks back. Uh, again, now, according to this, it's an audiophile analog remastering. It doesn't give a huge amount of information as to how it was remastered, but it sounds fantastic. It's very, 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 very easy listening. I mean, real easy listening. It almost reminds me a little bit of ele elevator music, but um, Oscar Peterson is on absolute top form. And there's there's a version of Yesterday on here, um, the Beatles Yesterday, and also uh, Nowhere Man. Is it Nowhere Man? No, not no, no, not Nowhere Man. Eleanor Rigby. So uh, yeah, interesting. Uh, but re and, uh, there's there's quite a few covers. I think there's um, there is a version of um, actually I can't remember. I can't remember what else is on there. But um, but it's a really nice, very easy to get in to get into, uh, beautifully recorded, easy listen. So if you like Oscar Peterson, I'd certainly recommend Motions and Emotions. Uh, put the plant back. So yeah. Um, that's a few few of the purchases I've uh, I've been listening to recently. Um, so that just about wraps it up. Uh, I shall report back on these speakers once I've broken them in properly. In the meantime, thanks for watching. Do subscribe if you like this kind of content, um, and don't forget to give the video a like. Uh, so yeah, keep spinning those records.